welcome back to my channel it's me Theron and in today's video I am doing I guess like a first impression of chocolate curls and kinks because I've never tried it and I'm super excited about this so in my product haul video I mentioned I got like the green mint clay one and the red hibiscus so I have the red clay and hibiscus that I'm trying out today along with the brand spanking new aloha rose so if you're interested to see my first impression then stay tuned okay so the directions on both jars say apply on wet hair so my hair is soaked um i know a lot i've had a couple of people ask me if i was low porosity or high porosity but i really think i'm like middle porosity I think the reason you can see <laughs> the water on this side is because the products that I use weren't sulfate free. And so, you know, cause this side doesn't, you can't see the water as much as you can on this side. But that's just a little disclaimer. Um, I think I am going to go in with the red clay and hibiscus on this side. So yeah, let me just hop right on into that. So about the red clay and hibiscus clay wash benefits. You have a rockin' red clay, which is the only clay composed of 100% minerals and trace elements with high levels of silica, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and many others giving you extra nourishment to your hair. Organic hibiscus flower powder improves blood circulation to stimulate healthy hair growth rich in vitamin C and amino acids. You also have organic beetroot powder, which is an enzymatic property of beetroot that can assist in reducing flaking and eliminate dandruff, causing bacteria along with silica that moisturizes the scalp, keeping the fungi away and leaving your hair soft and shiny. Now my favorite ingredient is the organic shikakai powder, which has been used for centuries as a shampoo and known for strengthening and helping to retain length, which is more important than hair growth alone. This clay absolutely smells amazing. Even though it's a little brownish in the jar, it's very almost like white once you apply it to your scalp. It's very lightweight. Like I said, it smells like chocolate and it really smoothed into my hair. Um, I applied it liberally to my hair and scalp and I really wanted to massage it into my scalp. It felt so good. I especially like that it even lathered, which is something I'm not used to seeing because when I make my clay mask at home, it doesn't really lather. So I was really happy to see that because I felt like it was actually shampooing my hair and my hair was going to be clean once I rinsed it out. Moving right along to the Aloha Rose Clay Wash. The jar says, say aloha to all things rose with a twist of island breeze. Our Aloha Rose Clay Wash is perfect for scalp issues and even thinning hair. The addition of rose petal powder only enhances this powerful clay wash with benefits that exfoliates and repairs skin cells on the scalp, leaving hair with shine and definition. Um, so I did a little research and rose clay has the ability to absorb dirt and oils from the skin. It is well suited for those with sensitive skin and, absorb and absorbs oils without being overly drying. It also has an anti-inflammatory property in the rose that helps get rid of scalp dryness and itchiness. It maintains the pH of pH balance of the scalp and increases the blood flow to the hair roots, which promotes new hair growth. So this clay wash smelled like a vacation. Like it smelled like bazooka bubblegum. It was just so sweet and refreshing. I absolutely loved it. Now it didn't have as much slip or even lather like the red clay and hibiscus, but that's perfectly fine. <laughs> it was, it's, it still detangled my hair rather easily just with my fingers. I did want to make sure that I got my scalp very well and around my edges since that is 
one of the benefits of using this clay mask and it felt great on my scalp it smoothed right into it um but i do think that this, this is more of a scalp treatment because it's more of a reparative type clay wash this is what my hair looks like completely covered with the clay all I did was sit with a plastic cap over my hair for about 30 to 45 minutes with no heat, and then I rinsed it out. And here is my freshly washed Fred. He is so happy. Of course, he tangled back up, you know, 4C struggle, but my hair is very clean, it's soft, it looks and feels like soft cotton, and I'm very pleased with my results. Um, the Aloha, rose side did feel like it may have a little product still on it it just didn't feel as clean as the red clay and the hibiscus clay did but overall still very satisfied clean and moisturized and ready to style obviously it's the next day and this is what my hair is looking like I didn't deep condition my hair. That was just my own personal decision. I was just over it and I needed to have a quick wash day. My hair feels great regardless though, but I did just wanna let you know. I felt like my hair was very moisturized after I washed the clay rinse out that I was comfortable enough to just go directly into styling. My official last thoughts on the red clay and hibiscus, I loved it. Like this was my first experience trying clay washes outside of making my own. So this was great. Like I said, I love the lather. My hair feels nice and soft and manageable. I could finger detangle. This is basically a recap of everything that you heard me say. But um, definitely will use this again and again. And as for the Aloha Rose Clay Wash, loved it too i don't necessarily think i'll use it as a shampoo i see this more as a pre-poo just because of the benefits i would say because you know it's supposed to be ph balance for your scalp and it's supposed to treat scalp issues i am absolutely going to incorporate this into most likely every wash day because i'm beginning to pre-poo so thoroughly enjoyed this scent was amazing so yeah, Chocolate Kinks and Curls, you have yourself a brand new fan. Like I have a couple things that I'm already eyeing that I need to buy again. I will definitely link all the items down below. Um, I know I mentioned before that the these are kind of pricey. Like it's like $25 for a jar on sale. But I think the ingredients that are in these products are worth it like when you can pick up a product and you can literally read in English every single ingredient it's worth it and you know it just really has those elements and things that your hair will actually appreciate and your hair will love you for it so that's just my opinion personally it's a win for me if you like this type of content and you enjoyed this video then be sure to give it a thumbs up as always, you might as well go ahead and subscribe, like, right now, like, click. Okay, I gave you enough time. Oh, and while you're at it, make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.